Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning my dashboard planner for the first week of May, last a little bit of April, and I haven't been in my dashboard planner in a long time, it feels like, so I'm probably going to be a little rusty, but I wanted to include it back into my planner lineup just because I was trying to fit so much stuff into my classic vertical that, um, I just don't have the space to write everything that I need and this planner was used for all things home stuff so like chores, grocery lists, errands, and um, important appointments, stuff like that. So I'm going to be using it, or I'm going to try and get back into it, but I'm going to be using Summer Elements from Live Love Posh. This came in that little four book box. Um, I believe they are being sold separately now. so. Go check on her website. Um, you might be able to grab this one um, separately. This is probably my favorite book out of that box. It has a lot of beautiful summer designs in here. And um, it's not technically summer yet, but uh, this is, it feels like it. And we're doing all the swim team stuff. So I'm actually going to be using this B set with this blue in yellow and then I also pulled out um, live Lo not live love flashes mojo jojo's black boxes blue boxes and yellow boxes for this so let's see how I want to set this up this week I kind of honestly just want to pull these out so I'm not constantly flipping through this book so I'm going to put that off to the side so now I just have these sheets to deal with. I might want to take the honeycombs from the other sheet but for now I'm going to stick here. I'm going to grab this one. Grab some white out. And I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to put a long box down this side and I think I'm going to do blue. I feel like the blue in here will match pretty well. Let me see how long these are. I think it'll be too long. Yeah, I'm going to go for the shorter size. right here I don't know how I feel about all of these being like being able to see all of those but I don't want to put this all the way on the edge either so yeah I don't know what to do I kind of want to put this one right here. I'm just going to lay it down and then I will figure out something to cover that up. Oh. I don't know. I might just make it easy on myself and just cover up the boxes. Okay. I like this honey. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm just going to white out these days of the week because I don't use these. Although I technically should because I have been wanting to get back into meal planning. And that would be a perfect place to write out your meals for the week. But I can always write it in on the boxes here or I can put an extra box here to include that. So... I 
gonna add that bow right there. And I feel like I need some yellow around here. So I'm gonna add that one there. And I'll put this one down here. Okay. So I have that honeycomb over there. There's only two on the page, so I'm going to put this one over here somewhere. And I don't have a rhyme or reason, I just put it there so it's kind of in the middle. I don't have to worry about cutting it off, and I can layer on top of it as well. I did like this porch swing. So... I'm going to start off by putting that there, and I'm going to grab maybe, let's do a black box, if I have any left of the full box size, which I don't. Um, let's see where else I'd have them. All right. I just restocked on my black boxes because I was running out. So I have a whole new book now. And I'm going to put this right here. Okay. That's a lot of black right there. So I'm going to try to lighten that up. A little bit and add some other colors along the box. I'm going to put this B right here and then I'll draw some little dotted lines to notate, not notate, but to give it like it's flying around the page. Now, I'm going back and forth here. Normally I knock this side out, but I want to start layering some boxes here. And I think, I don't know if I want to go with the bright or this mustard. But I think the bright's too bright, so we're going to do mustard. So we're going to go up to the smaller boxes. And I'm going to grab the next size up. And I'm going to move this one just down a little bit so it's not hanging out in the same plane as the one on Thursday. Okay, let's see what other elements I want to add that I can kind of work around. I really like this window. I'm not sure where I could put it. change of plans. Hopefully I can get this up without making a huge mess of the spread. But I'm going to go ahead and trim these just because they're kind of hanging out underneath the black part of the sticker. And I'm just going to move this over and kind of place the... Come on. Place the window beside it. So let's put you right there, take out this window, and this is going to be fun to try to get back on. Let's see. Okay, gotta lift this flower up a little bit. I 
Okay, that's cute, but I feel like it needs some sort of base to it, kind of like a ground. So I have Live Love Posh's Thin Essentials, black and white. And I want to add one of these in here. I'm not sure which one. I really like this cow print one, but I'm not sure that it really matches the aesthetic of it. I could do the polka dots or just the stripe. Look at that, doesn't look bad. I'm gonna try this stripe. Except I can't find where it starts. Okay. Oh, I like the stripe, okay. these out of the way and I'm just gonna put it right here I had a washi tape cutter at some point but I have since lost it let me see what I had in here I have a bunch of stuff from go wild that I have to find a place for on my desk and I know there's a ruler in here, so I was going to try and grab that, this right here. Okay. I like that. I feel like I want to put it in like one more place somewhere, but I'm not sure where. We'll hold off on that for now. I feel like this spot down here now would be a perfect spot for like a little garden of flowers. And maybe a quote or something. Right, and it's going into that hole a little bit so I'm just going to trim that off perfect okay I really like that so far I feel like I might add a blue box as a header there so let's go in here I'm going to move on to the other side now and I'm going to grab, let's see, I like to mix it up on where I put bullet points and boxes so this kind of has boxes already. I guess I should do boxes up there and then bullet points for the rest of the days but I'm not completely sold on that yet. Let's do a blue box here and then I haven't layered on this side yet. Sorry, if I said blue, I meant black. I've been getting all my words mixed up this week. I'm going to add this blue one. You know what? I'm going to... Okay. Got some layering there. And then I know both the blue and the yellow, well all of those boxes, or all those books have, what do you call it, bullet points in them, so I'll definitely be pulling some from there. But first I want to see what else I can add here. I feel like this is going to be just too big, it's really out of proportion compared to everything else. I like this one too. Like this might be a good corner piece. Okay. 
Oops. Completely cut the paper. Okay. Get some more bees in here. Some lemons. I haven't put any lemons in here yet. All right, more florals. Washi tape. I need to add some washi tape somewhere over here. So let's see where I want to do that at. I don't really have an idea. But we'll play around with a few and see how we like it. Honestly, feel like I should put some down here at the bottom of the page. Let me try and lift this be up. Okay. All right, I like that. I feel like it's pretty balanced. Don't know that I'd add any more. like I don't want to block this off anymore but I feel like it needs something like I need it needs the washi in at least one more spot since I have it in three spots here and just that one there okay now I have a lot of stuff down so I'm gonna go in with some bullet points I'm not sure what color way I want to do if I should just do black and let the colors pop rather than mixing the colors up. Let me grab my tweezers and we'll just grab some black bullet points. In my dashboard planner, I normally just do two bullet points on each day that I put them on. Okay, now I did want to add little dotted lines to make it seem like the bees were flying around, so let me find a good pen for that. I'm missing my Muji, oh, I forgot it. I finally, I brought it with me to go wild, and it's been lost in my luggage, but I finally found it when I was putting away stuff. So, let's see. I kind of actually want to add one more bee over here if possible. So I have three over there, but the only one left is this really big one. I don't think I want to add that really big one. Okay. So where do we want him to start from? Okay. I'm always worried I'm going to mess up. But I guess I should start kind of from where he came from. OK, 
Okay, so we have that one. Let's do this one. I'm gonna have him coming from the flowers over here. Do a little swirl. Okay, that one's cute. Now this one, I might have him coming from off the page or something. Or we can add some flowers to this side and he could be coming from the flowers. No, I feel like it'd be just awkward to place a random flower there. So we'll just have him coming from this flower. Okay, so we have that one for him, and then this baby here, we'll just have him going a short little distance. Okay. I love the addition of the dotted lines. I think it brings in, it brings the spread together pretty well, but I do feel like I need to add a few more things over on this other side of the page. So how about we do some lemons? I'm gonna add this one right here. I want to add some of that lemon at the top. Add some there. And I think the spread is pretty much done. I feel like it came together really well. I think it looks super cute. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. Remember to like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!